Live from Chicago's number one news, ABC 7 Eyewitness News at 4 starts right now. And we start with breaking news. We now a special reunion today at downtown's Union Station that was packed with all kinds of Chicago history. Two brothers who had long worked for the legendary Pullman Company got to board the same exact train that they built, the last passenger car to roll out from the Pullman factory on Chicago's south side. It's a story making us Chicago proud. For Alfonso and Ray Kiraz, this was a walk down memory lane. I was born in Pullman, raised my family in Pullman. I worked in Pullman Standard. The brothers were just in their 20s when they first started working at the legendary Pullman Company, building train cars that moved America. I had a lot of fun working on these cars, building these cars, and when these cars rolled out, finished and everything, I was really proud. That I built that car. Now in their 80s, that pride still on display. Remember this here too? Yeah. Where I'd be able to go to the washroom and shave and shower at the same time. <laughs> the brothers helped build this, the last Pullman passenger car in 1981. Still in service today, the Amtrak Superliner will roll back to its birthplace for the first time this weekend as part of Pullman Railroad Days at the Pullman National Monument. The monument was opened on Labor Day last year, allowing visitors to experience the once bustling company town and the country's labor movement. It was in Pullman in the late 1800s where factory workers walked Walked off the job. That fight led to new workers' rights and the national recognition of Labor Day. Now we're going back to the 1800s. I wasn't around at that time, but we benefited by what their struggle was at the time. So whatever they benefited at the beginning, that's going back to the 1800s now. I benefited by it. But for the brothers, today is about reminiscing and sharing stories not necessarily included in official tours. If you take the panels down, there's notes. People <laughs> write notes on the wall indicating that tonight I, I have to get, tonight before I go home, I gotta get a loaf of bread. <laughs> and there was one more story they shared about the penny that was drilled in behind the doors before the train car was finished. To this day, the pennies are still there. The reason why I did that to get good luck to this railroad car. <laughs> to bring back, bring back good memories. I love those stories that they were telling. So this 1981 Superliner will roll into Pullman on Saturday at 8 a.m. at the 111th Street Pullman Metro Electric Station. Pullman Railroad Days will take place on both Saturday and Sunday at the Pullman National Monument. There was so much pride and joy when they were walking through that car that they had a hand in building. Did you see them hop up to, I mean, like naturals. They grab those yeah. rails and they're up in there. Pullman is so incredibly historic and important. So much fun talking to them today. And all of that happening this weekend, that train's gonna roll into Pullman. It's a lucky car. Oh, with a pen. Yep. In there. It was terrific, <laughs> wow.